Well, welcome to Framework Fortune and welcome back Framework Fortune community. I am your host Ben and we're going to dive into some credit. I haven't done very many credit videos on the channel but a few people have been requesting a little bit more about that since there are some videos on the channel so we're going to get back into a little bit of credit and credit building and how to use it. Now first off if you're scared of credit that is because we fear what we don't know so you need to learn everything you can about how credit works and then you won't fear it because credit is a double-edged sword. Most people don't know what they're doing with their credit cards and their finances, so they take that sword and chop their head right on off accidentally. You know, they get into big debt situations, and these are the horror stories and why most people are scared of credit because they've heard people losing everything and having to file bankruptcy, and it's like the end of the world. It's actually not. We'll cover some of that later on, but today I want to talk about about credit cards and the credit cards that you should be looking at versus the ones that you should not be looking at and if you don't have any credit or if you have bad credit you're not going to have the best choices but some of these are not a choice at all you do not want no part of these it is not worth it just to get your credit started building there are other ways to build credit besides a credit card so when you do start getting credit cards you want to be getting the best credit cards that you can possibly get so we're on credit karma here if you don't have a credit karma account or some type of account that that shows you your credit score there's plenty of them out there most credit cards now have them built into their apps and their online marketplace because if you're building wealth you want to also be building credit so you have access to more capital so let's look at these cards and go through some of these and talk about them first we have the credit card marketplace and this says top picks now they are going to be getting money from people signing up for these credit cards so they're going to tell you whatever to get you to sign up on credit karma and all these other credit apps and sites so their top picks is this credit one platinum and it says credit one platinum visa for rebuilding credit as you see there's only three stars go read the reviews when you look at a credit card and you will find out whether or not just by reading the reviews if it's decent or if they screw you over so there's one star here worst choice I've made I had this car for over a year used it only for emergencies paid the total balance off over eight months ago got my bill for the start of the second year with a charge of 875 annual fee no big deal blah 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 they didn't open their statement one month and the following month when they opened it it was a $20 balance and a late fee you can see this is some of the shenanigans that get people in trouble this person was actually handling their credit responsibly and still ended up getting screwed over so you want to be with companies that are trustful and credit Credit One Bank is not a bank that is a good bank, at least from my experience from what I've seen, and the reviews reflect that. Let's dive into it more in these car details, and let's look here. So we got 1% rewards where eight, eh, that's not great, but the annual fee. So this is what you're going to get charged every year for holding this car. So if you got a $1,000 limit or whatever your limit is at the end of every year, they're going to charge you $75 to your credit card for just having it. Now, we don't want that. That is dumb. There are credit cards that have no annual fees, plenty of them. So when you see an annual fee, you do not want that. Stay away from it. You do not want to be paying somebody just to have a plastic card. That's all it is. You're paying to just have the plastic as soon as you see this, this is a red flag. Now, there are some good ones for higher credit that do have some annual fees, but they usually have some really good perks for having that card. This card's perk is 1% cash back, so more than likely, this 1% that you're getting is going to get ate up by the annual fee anyway. So just from having this card, you're not going to be doing very well with it. You're going to be starting out negative. And you can see another credit, another one, and you can see platinum. They make it sound like it's so good. This one's two star reviewed. Rewards rate one percent cash again. Annual fee thirty nine dollars. Now this one's rated a little bit better, but this is an American Express card. But you still got a garbage one percent cash back rewards rate and an annual fee. We go a little bit further. We've got the City Secured Mastercard. Now this is something you can do to build your credit. If you don't have good credit or you don't have credit at 
all, you can try to get one of these secured MasterCards, but just make sure that it has no annual fee and that it doesn't have a too bad of a purchase APR. So you see this one has a little different thing here. It says minimum deposit $200 and that is refundable. Well, what you're doing and why it's secured is the card is secured by the money you deposit. So if you put $200 into your secured MasterCard, your city secured card account, you will be able to spend $200 like a credit line. So if you max it out and then pay it off, you'll be able to use that $200 again and again and again. And that will help you build your credit when you're continually using it and paying it off before the billing cycle is over. Just don't even have to, you don't even have to max it out. You just want to put a little bit on it just so they don't close it. So you put a little bit on it, you know, once a month, going out to dinner or something, you spend a little 30, 40 bucks, put it on there, pay it off by the end of the month and just do something like that every month. And just that process will start building your credit where you can get some better cards. But you would much rather, even though this is rated three stars, you'd much rather go the secured route where you have to put some money as collateral versus the unsecured route with one of these trash cards that's going to cost you money. Because even though you have to deposit 200, you're still getting access to $200 credit line. So you're not losing your money. You're not giving your money to them. They're just holding your money for your credit line. And that's why it's refundable. Because if you close that account, then you can pull your $200 back out as long as your balance is at zero. This would not be my first choice for a secure MasterCard and it's rated low. Probably rated low because most people don't really understand how this works. Now we get to discover this is a secured credit card. This would be the one I would recommend over the, the city one. And look, here's why. We've got four and a half stars and we've got one to two percent cash back. So you're actually getting some cash back rewards off of that $200 that you put in or whatever their minimum deposit is. And there's no annual fee. Discover is some of the best cards that I've found from my experience and their customer service is pretty good. So Discover cards, a-okay in my book, but there's better ones than this. This is just a secured card once again. So let's go to see all cards. This is being sorted by recommended. So let's see here what we got first. We got a Wells Fargo. I'm not a fan of Wells Fargo. They do have 2% cash back on this. $200 welcome bonus, which is nice. So you earn $200 cash rewards. Bonus after spending $1,000 on purchases in the first three months. And this is where you can actually use your credit to make some money when you find these welcome bonuses. You may be thinking, oh man, I don't want to go put $1,000 dollars on my credit card all at once. Well, you don't have to. You can buy something that you're buying every day that's going to add up to $1,000 over three months. Buy that with it and you would normally pay cash for it. So instead of paying the cash, you use your card and when you get home, just pay the card off so it stays at a nice low balance or zero balance and then as long as you spend $1,000 worth of money in that three months, you would get that $200 reward. So if you kept your balance to zero and did what you're supposed to, you would be able to get $200 just for using this card for three months. So it'd be a free $200. And this is where it gets exciting when you have good credit where you can really make some nice money off some bonuses. So this one's not terrible, but I'm not a big fan of Wells Fargo. So you can see here's a Finger Hut. This one they say is great for building your credit history. I, To me, Finger Hut is it's just a website, so it's basically a store card. It's pretty decently easy to get a store credit card at any store, Kohl's, anything like that. You could get this and maybe purchase something small off of Finger Hut and use it to build your credit if you wanted to, but look at that APR, 30% APR, super high interest rate. So it's not a good card in the first place, but if you're not gonna be using it, but just to build your credit, eh, it could be an option. Now, Destiny is a new one. I've never heard of this, but we can see there is a cash back, but look at the annual fee. I'm done looking at it. Upgrade is a relatively new one. Well, we got no annual fee. We only have one review on this one. Is there a difference? This is the Elite Visa. And this is the cash rewards. Okay. So, okay. You get 2.2% cash back. So, that's not bad. And you got no fees. No annual fees. So, this is not too bad. And this is probably the same thing. You have one per... 1.5 percent and so said so they got a quite a bit going on with this card now i do want to check real quick because they're not showing their apr so while it looks good on that outside let's check the apr okay so regular purchases nine percent basically to thirty percent and this is going to be based on your credit worthiness so if you have bad or no credit, you would probably get 30%. If you have great credit, you would get 9%. And then if you're somewhere in the middle, you're going to land somewhere in the middle, leaning one way on the spectrum, depending on how 
good your credit is. So the top interest that you could pay on this could be pretty high. So 30% you don't really want. This card does not look bad. If you got bad or no credit, you're probably going to get stuck with that APR so you can find something better. So here's another one I never heard of, Cerulean. But you can look there, $100 annual fee, no way. More upgrade cards. A lot of what they are putting out there is stuff that has annual fees and they're just not that good. Now the City Custom Cash Card, this is a new one. I actually just got this one. But you get rewards rate 1% to 5% cash back. And you get a welcome bonus of 200 after you spend 750 on purchases in the first three months. So all you got to do is just do that same thing. Spend 750 worth of gas and pay it off every day or every week for three months. And then you could get that $200. And then they also have 0% interest APR on balance transfers and purchases. Now I want to talk about this shortly. And we'll talk about this more later on when we really get into how to use your credit like a weapon because I like to use credit like a ninja like an assassin like a samurai but most people would look at this and think oh I could buy something really expensive and not have to pay any interest on it and pay it later I look at this and go oh this is free money for 15 months so if you're getting free money for 15 months that you could pull out of this card or use this card for something I want that free money in put into something that can turn around and make me a cash flowing return and then you can pay this balance off and you use somebody else's free money as long as you pay it off before 15 months to start you a new cash flowing investment because if your cash flowing investment can make the minimum payment for for you to pay this off really quickly then you're not paying anything out of pocket whatsoever for that free zero percent money like i said we'll dive into that later and how to use it because it is a double-edged sword you got to be careful you can't just go do this stuff not knowing what you're doing you can get screwed over by these companies they are not your friends that being said, knowing that they're not your friends and that they will screw you over, we got to have that same relationship. We can't be dominated by these credit companies. we got to be willing to stick it right back to them. So we'll learn more about that as we go on. But the big name cards are usually some of the better ones. City, this is another one I have. I really like this one. It says it's a 1% cash back, but you earn 2% on every purchase and then you earn an additional 1% with every time you pay on a purchase so you're actually getting two percent well if you're doing like i was talking about and you're building your credit and you're buying stuff and paying it off real quick in little increments that two percent is going to add up so you're going to be able to make some extra little cash rewards along the way while you're building your credit As you can see here this city card is great for balance transfers like we were talking about this is zero percent apr for 18 months so zero percent apr for 18 months you're getting access to some free money for 18 months months if you do it right now if you go out and buy something big like i said and you're just paying the monthly minimum payments just to buy a flat screen or something that does not cash flow you know you're going to probably get in trouble using this but city's good you can see the variables 15 to 24 so not too high so the type of cards you want to look at are going to be city discover american express is okay now there is a difference we'll get into that later too but i do want to make this clear with american express they have two different types of cards okay so a normal credit card is just a line of credit and you have to just make the minimum payment to continue using it without getting anything added to your credit or anything like that but american express's cards like the gold card and the platinum card which you can see they've got some crazy fees for annually and that's because you get crazy rewards so if you spend four thousand dollars on your new card in the first three months you get sixty thousand membership rewards which is about probably 600 bucks and then right there would be a thousand on that platinum but still that doesn't break even with the annual fee really but they have tons of tons of benefits like we there's a lot we could look in you can see all these different benefits but with the gold and platinum card and a few other american express's cards you have to pay off any balance by the end of the month you can't just make a minimum payment so if you get an american express gold card and you go out there and you spend five thousand dollars 
dollars or something like that, you're going to have to pay that five thousand back at the end of the month. It doesn't roll over like it does with most other credit cards. Some people don't know that and can get in big trouble using these American Express cards. Now they do have a few like this American Express cash magnet card. That one's fine. It rolls over. It's actually not a bad card to have. That's another one that I have. And then they have this blue everyday card. So Amex is okay. Like I said, you, you got to be careful. You got to know what you're looking at with Amex. City, like I was showing earlier, is good. Chase can be good. Although I have had some problems with Chase messing with my credit limits, you know, bringing them down some, which can hurt your credit score and not giving me any warning or reason why they brought my credit score or brought my credit limit it down and I didn't even have a card maxed out or anything and then they dropped my credit limit significantly and had no reason really to give me for that so while the cards are really good some of the stuff you might deal with may be a little sketchy now a lot of times if you have a local bank or a credit union especially credit unions if you have a checkings account and savings account with one of those they usually have really good cards for their members so you can also do that go to your bank and check and say hey I want to start building credit what kind of credit card card options do you have for me or options to build my credit and usually a local bank will be a lot more flexible and able to accommodate you than some of these big companies especially with when you don't have any credit make sure that the cards you are getting are worth it and that are not cards like this with high annual fees high aprs bad reviews just use some common sense you know you don't want to pay for anything as an entrepreneur we do not want to pay for anything we don't want to pay annual fees we don't want to pay a bunch of interest and as i continue this credit building series we will dive into some of the stuff i was talking about where you can use credit cards which are not my top pick but lines of credit which have way lower interest rates to have liquidity to be able to move money around and invest and have cash flowing assets if you don't have a lot of money to work with but that's all for now so if you have any questions about any of this leave it in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video you learned something today smash that like button appreciate everybody joining me as always stay safe out there until next time